I'm Kevin Elizabeth and I'm a wedding photographer based in San Diego and today I'm going to be talking about why you should absolutely not skip the engagement session. I will often get couples who reach out and they say well, we don't want to do engagement photos, can you take it out of the package, whatever, blah blah blah. And I am always really quick to educate them on exactly why they shouldn't skip it because there is this thought process that goes around that the engagement session is only for photos. And that's really not the case. So I'm going to jump into the different reasons on why you should absolutely not skip this out. It is doing yourself a huge disservice to skip this. It's not the end of the world, but you guys will see exactly why you should do it in this video. So as I mentioned, the engagement session is not just about the photos. While those are really helpful for your save the dates, having on your walls, using as wedding decor, it is not the only purpose of this shoot. A lot of couples think that's the only reason to do it. It is absolutely not. I almost consider the fact that you get photos secondary and the primary benefit of doing the engagement session is that you really get to know your wedding photographer. If you don't do your engagement photos with them and you've only ever perhaps spoken to them on the phone or over email, when they show up on the wedding day, they're going to be essentially a stranger. You're not going to feel nearly as comfortable with them as you would somebody you've already spent a solid hour and a half with doing engagement photos. You know who they are. You're going to immediately feel a lot more comfortable around them and they'll feel more like a friend than a random vendor you hired for your wedding day. So again, it's not just about the photos, it's also about the experience of getting to know your photographer, building trust with them and learning all the different things about them so that you feel more at ease on the wedding day. After the engagement session is over and you do have your photos back, one of the benefits of having done this is that you might be able to see some angles of yourself that you actually like a lot more than other angles and to to know which positions kind of flatter you more. Now it is the photographer's job to pose you, but if you learn that you seem to prefer the left side of your face a lot more than the right, that is really valuable knowledge that you might not have known had you skipped the engagement session. So you can tell your photographer, hey, I really seem to love pictures of my left side a lot better, so I wanna make sure that we get a little bit more of that on the wedding day. So that's extremely helpful. And again, you might not have known that had you skipped the session and not had these images to see what kind of flatters you best. Now your photographer actually really benefits from the engagement session because during the time together and as they're photographing you, they learn how you guys interact with each other. So it gives them a very organic look into how your relationship dynamic is. So if you guys are more playful with each other, if you're more serious with each other, if you're a lot more snuggly, if you're not at all. So that's really helpful information for us to know because for me at least, the more that I know about my couples, the more that I can photograph them in a way that's more authentic to who they are and it's not just a carbon copy of every couple I've ever shot. If you look at some photographers photos it might seem like they're just changing out people's faces because everything looks the same but for me I really want to make sure that I am honoring who my couples are and capturing them as they are authentically and organically. I also learn what flatters my couples best so just like my couples can look at the photos see what angles and positions they like best, I also learn that about them. Or I learn things that the groom might do something weird whenever I ask them to snuggle up together and I have to ask him to do things that loosen him up a little bit. So that's really helpful for me to know. But if I'm seeing that for the first time on the wedding day, it's not as big on my mind or we might be running out of time. I might have to just get through it as well as possible. But if I know these little things ahead of time, then I can kind of plan them out. And I know to immediately just give these instructions at the beginning of the portrait so we can jump right into the real Really good stuff. I touched on earlier the fact that the engagement session really lets you get to know your wedding photographer. Again, this is something that's going to make you feel more at ease on the wedding day. You're going to see them come through the doors. You're going to be excited to see them. You already feel like you're kind of friends with them and everything just feels a lot more natural. So when you're getting into your dress, you don't feel uncomfortable if this person is in the room with you. You already know them. You feel at ease with them. You know that they are going to take care of you. You know too that because 
you loved your engagement photos, you're going to love your wedding photos. So everything is really peace of mind here. And I think that that is so valuable and a really amazing reason why you should absolutely not skip the engagement session. Now, earlier I mentioned that it's going to build trust between the two of you. So what I mean by that is that building trust. So you know that you can trust this photographer to capture your wedding day beautifully. You also know that because of the engagement session experience, if your photographer asks you to do something that seems strange, or if they ask you to stand in a location you're not quite sure about, you know that those photos are actually going to turn out so beautifully. I've had couples that I have photographed right next to bathrooms, porter potties, trash cans. Of course, that's not in the photo, but at first they might be like, oh, this is a weird spot. But there's just something that we see as artists and photographers that couples might not see. And it might happen to be next to something really ugly, but there's a vision that we have. And once our couples see those engagement photos, they're like, oh my God, wow, you would never know where that was, or I didn't even see that. So all these different things are allowing you to trust them more because you know that they're going to do a great job. Even if they ask you to do something really weird, or if they say, hey, I need you guys to run, whatever it may be, they're going to present something to you that is so beautiful and so worth it. So if you trust them and allow them to do these things, you are going to get the best possible photos. So again, trusting them is really, really great. I also find that when I've done engagement photos for the couple, that the parents and bridal party trust me more. I'll walk in the room that morning and they'll say, oh my God, did you do the engagement photos? I say, yes. They said, oh, they were so great. You captured them so beautifully. So to me, that's saying they already feel very comfortable with what I'm going to be doing on the wedding day. And they trust that I'm going to give their friends or their children gorgeous photos because they've already seen my work. I've sort of already proven myself to them and they know that they can feel at ease that day knowing that their children and friends photos are going to be absolutely perfect. So those are just my top reasons on why you shouldn't skip the engagement session. For me personally, I do include them complimentary in many of my collections. And because of that, I don't reduce the package price if they don't do the engagement session. It's just something I feel so strongly about and that is so absolutely beneficial to my couples and to me that I really prefer them all to do it. I never force my couples, but I will always educate them as I have done with you guys on the amazing benefits of doing it. Again, it's not just about the photos. And if you're somebody who thinks engagement photos are cheesy or something like that and you just are not really feeling them, then do something different or tell your photographer. Say, we don't like these kinds of things. And obviously, if you're hiring somebody for their work, they probably don't do those things to begin with. Otherwise, you should be hiring somebody else. So if you already love their work, then trust that they're going to give you engagement photos that aren't going to be weird for you. They're not going to be cheesy. They're not going to be the opposite of what you want them to be. They're going to be great. And it's kind of like a rehearsal for your wedding day photos. So just like you would do a rehearsal for your ceremony, this is the rehearsal for your wedding day portraits. So do not skip this. Please, please, please do an engagement session, even if it's something that you need to pay extra for. I promise you it is so absolutely beneficial. And in my next video, I'm going to be talking about why you should do your engagement photos with the exact same photographer. I've already touched on some of those topics today. I'm going to be delving into them more deeply in next week's video because you should be hiring the same person for both. But again, that's going to be saved for next time. So I hope you guys catch that one as well. And in Enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.